welcome to the Style Chronicles. If you have not subscribed, please do and make sure you hit the notifications bell so that you will be notified immediately whenever there is a new upload. And I'd be happy to have you as a member of my Style Chron community. Thank you so much. Today's outfit of the day video, it is um, dedicated to the Houston Astros. Um, and I'm super excited. I think our whole city is super excited. It's like, it's really and truly a gift to us from the Astros that we've made it this far, um, especially after Hurricane Harvey. Just having, you know, this happening to our city is amazing. It's giving us so much to look forward to and you just, you know, happiness that um, I think a lot of people are in need of just a little, you know, something fun to follow and get into. My dad used to take us to the Astros games in the Astronome a long time ago. And then for the first two seasons that the Astros were in Minute Maid Park, which is our new er <laughs> stadium um, downtown, we had season tickets and it's just amazing. I love it. My dad is going nuts. He's already purchased every like hat he can get his hands on for the entire family of us as sequined. Um, and yeah, we're just having a blast. It's fun to have something to look forward to, a games to follow, you know, it's just fun. Um, so anyway, I thought I would take the opportunity since I am wearing a Astros shirt in Astros colors. Um, I thought I would take the opportunity and do an outfit of the day so that you guys can see how I like to wear t-shirts. And of course, this is a larger t-shirt. It is a medium. They did not have any more smalls in stock when I went to purchase um, an Astro shirt at Academy. And Academy is our local sports store in the state of Texas. Um, but they didn't have any more smalls. And this is the one I wanted. I wanted the one with the Texas emblem on it um, that had the heart or the star and, you know, the original Astros colors. So this is the one I wanted. I settled for a medium. And that's okay because these kind of t-shirts that you get, whether it's like a concert t-shirt or a political t-shirt or like something for school or like a marathon t-shirt, just these kinds of t-shirts, oversized t-shirts are very easy to wear stylishly if you really want to. So I'm going to show you two of my favorite tricks for wearing a oversized t-shirt um, and how I do it. The other ways that I absolutely love, and it's way too hot to even prance around outside with a jacket on, is with a blazer. A blazer instantly adds that bit of sophistication to an outfit, and it does it ex you know, extremely well with just an oversized shirt. But like I said, it's too hot outside to do that, so I'm just going to show you the couple of tricks that I use. So stay tuned, and I'm gonna take you outside into my backyard. Don't mind everybody in the background. Okay, so we are outside in my backyard, and the first thing that I do with a shirt that is generally oversized is roll my sleeves up. This instantly just gives your outfit a good fit. It makes the sleeve fit your arms a little snugger, and it does away with like the excess fabric around your shoulders. Um, and for me, it's just something that I love to do is roll my, show, my sleeves up on a t-shirt. And you don't want the roll to be too precise. You want it to be kind of messy, just kind of tucked in like a roll. Um, and then the second thing I do is I tuck my shirt in in the front, just pull that part in and I blouse it a little bit. Okay, and that just makes a very baggy t-shirt a little bit more fitted, just a little bit neater looking, I think. Um, a little bit more stylish, so enjoy my awkward modeling. And uh, when you wear shoes, I think that are a bit unexpected, it makes it look a little nicer too. Um, so definitely not sneakers, these are some slides that I have. And the second thing that I like to do, if I don't want to half tuck the shirt, I will just tie a knot in the side and that just nips in your waist and you'll see when you turn around that your back looks more nipped in and it just makes the shirt look a little bit more fitted to your size or your body style. So and now there are bumpers all over the golf course in the background. It's about, I don't know, about 5.30 um, in the evening here and they're still all over the place. Alrighty, so I hope that gives you some ideas as to what to do with an oversized shirt. I will tell you, I think I mentioned it earlier, but I will tell you that sewing some little bitty stitches to help keep this up is key to a lot of um, a lot of wearing it easily, I guess you would say. Um, just you know, keeping it neat. So definitely do a stitch here and a stitch here. 
and it just keeps it up, um, you know, rolled up so it's not constantly rolling down. You're constantly having to mess with it. My face, I have on the Anastasia Beverly Hills Subculture Palette. I do have on Fudge and New Wave with a little bit of the um, Adorn shade, the bronze shade on the inner corners. My blush is Max Blush Baby, and my lipstick is a new lipstick from e.l.f. Cosmetics. Um, I don't know the shade, but I will put it down below so you guys can read it. It is a really pretty, kind of a bright red. It's a vibrant red. On my nails is Essie's Midnight After School Blazer. Oh, thank you, Eva. She went and got it for me. It's called um, After School Boy Blazer. That's what it's called by Essie, but this is, it's a new lipstick from Essie. It's called Red Siren Screen from the e.l.f. Beauty Shield line, which is, I think, a newer line. It's very moisturizing. It's very nice. Feels good on your lips, too. Right, thank you so much for watching, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.